guys or anybody at all anyone or maybe my my dear people come three of you please come anyone any three of you don't worry sir please come watch this stand here let me just use this as an example please you stand here please stand here please stand there this guy is so well suited let him be god <laughs> i'm not saying god wears suit he clothes himself in light no you stand here watch this this is the final recipient this is what he wants blessing prosperity increase breakthrough whatever it is god desires to get it to him but the way that he does is to pass through men so you need two entities for the arrival of anything god and the men that will allow him pass through if god says yes and this man says no your blessing will remain there now most believers do not know this we have all kinds of immature statements like all i need is just god if you mean that in terms of his sovereignty you are right if you mean that in terms of the dynamics of transfer you are joking it is the spirit and the bride that says come if the spirit says come and there is no bride to echo come nothing will come for you the spirit and the bride says come so here we are again look up this is you oh god open doors for me and he says amen here is the open door oh god wipe the tears of my family are we together all blessings come from god through men to men your job from god through men to men the prayer point that you dropped here during miracle service from god through men to men even your salvation from god through men how can they hear except there be a preacher god is the word but john the baptist was the word the voice are we together now this is the second fundamental rule you have to know this so when you are praying you don't only pray for god alone you pray for men and then you must master like you will be learning because if this man does not like you and yet he's the one who will receive it from god you are in trouble when a man's ways pleases the lord there are men that are not castable they are gatekeepers god will grant you favor because they are the ones midwifing your blessings so god gives this man please take and now you see that it has left god but has it reached him this is why many people are you say god give me say no no no. i've answered you since i answered you since january so what is the limitation all blessings because you do not know this is why we teach things like the ministry of destiny help us this is why we teach you the systems of advantage in the kingdom that connects you to the blessings of god this is why we teach you things like law of honor now watch this this man has this blessing already from god this man's prayer has been answered but if this man dishonors this destiny helper dishonor is the key that closes the door for access he can remain five years it left heaven five years ago but it never got to you because the man who will be used by god and yes can i tell you the truth i'm going to say something that will surprise you now there are times that god has already blessed this man when you pray to him he will say there's no need there is enough of this already in the hand of a man just connect to a man who will give you <laughs> there is no amount of money that is going to come from the windows of heaven every currency is in somebody's bank account right now every job is with somebody right now one person's signature please help this person and the person will say it's not the english you are speaking i have a relationship i want to tell you something very sincere when god moved me to this city i was telling the dear students yesterday i found out i may be wrong i'm not speaking as a statistician i'm speaking as somebody who used common sense to analyze can i be honest with you i found out that over 50 60 percent of the pathway to wealth in abuja works by relationships 
if you I may be wrong can I be honest with you I have taught you this in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you second law all blessings come from God through men to men all troubles come from Satan through men to men whether it is God walking or Satan walking men will be in between so whilst you are praying I'm not only teaching you the principles that help you receive from God you must know what to do in this world of men because this world of men is a mysterious world the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord but the earth has he given to the sons of men if you don't know what to do with men you will suffer as if God didn't answer your prayer like many sincere people are suffering today the the lifting power of men that when men a man steps into your life he can be used by God to change the entire financial climate in a moment I can tell you this there are ministries that were shifted in one moment because the right person came there are destinies that were destroyed because the wrong person came whilst you're seated i'd like you to pray this second rule lord now that i know that all blessings come through men i ask that you move this man to my life go ahead and pray thank you guys thank you thank you we've not even started discussing the principles these are just foundational thoughts that number one all blessings come from god and belong to him all blessings every financial resource every lifting comes from god and belongs to him then number two all blessings come from god but it reaches you from men to men through men i meant to say hallelujah 